All right, hey there, welcome. Uh, this is a kind of interesting, unique video. I'm gonna treat this as a vlog because I got a couple interesting topics I wanna run through today, including a office share update, um, continuing to find the space and wanna play around a little bit. I think last time we talked about down here, I have the Rodecaster Pro and let's play around with my different audio options that I have on the table right now. Right now I am recording with the Rode Wireless Go so what that lets me do is pick up, put the headset down. I can walk around and then I can switch over here and move. So I have my uh, camera just mounted up on this space over here and it's letting me uh, walk around in the space and to continue to have pretty good audio. This camera's mounted um, and I'll show you how that mount works in a little bit as we switch over to the uh, studio tour. But for now, uh, let's go through audio. So I'm gonna put on my monitoring headset so I can hear audio. Uh, this is coming from the Rode Wireless Go. Um, now, if I don't want uh, to walk around and I want to have a little bit better audio, I do have the Rode NTG 4 Plus, I think it's sitting up there. Um, it's a shotgun mic, and so let's switch over to that one. All right, I'm increasing the levels and volume fitting in. This is now the Rode NTG 4 Plus. It is a shotgun mic and it's sitting in a blimp uh, up there. Um, the blimp is really more for outdoor usage. Um, the benefit of this is all the mics are now out of frame. I can talk like this without my headset. And now I'm talking into the camera here and you're getting pretty good audio. The only problem is when I type, you um, are hearing my typing quite a bit. And also I think when I'm my computer, the fan's running, it creates uh, just a little bit of echo. Uh, that's just the downside of using a shotgun mic for that purpose. And so if I want the best, more booming type audio, I'm gonna switch over to my um, Electro Voice RE20. This is a podcast broadcast mic. All right, and this is now the Rode uh, Electro Voice RE20. It is a dynamic microphone, broadcast style microphone. They use it in radio stations. Um, it has pretty good rejection, so if I talk outside, but if I get myself really close, it gets uh, really good quality audio. I have a lot of noise in this space, especially from outdoors. Everyone's working from home, lots of construction projects going on. And so if I switch to this, it gives me uh, much superior audio. Now over here, I do have uh, a second microphone. This is the Shure SM58. Um, I use this as my second guest. So when I have someone here, I will switch over. And now I'm talking in the Shure SM58. This is a also a dynamic uh, microphone. It's being powered by the Rodecaster Pro. And I use this when I am recording a guest podcast. I will have, a, will have two seats uh, over here in my desk. And that lets us record just in-person podcasting recordings. I'm going to switch back to the RE20. And switching back to the RE20. And I'm switching back and forth to give you a sense on what you can expect in terms of audio quality from these different devices. It's probably time for me to switch over for you to get a little bit of a desk studio tour so you can see behind the scenes. I'm going to switch back to the wireless mic so I can move around and make sure I get pretty good audio as I do the walkabout. And I'm switching back. This uh, The only downside of this wireless mic is it, it's picking up a little bit of interference, but let me know if it's um, acceptable media. Now I'm gonna switch over to this camera here and I'm gonna unmount it and show you how it's currently mounted. I am using this, uh, this is a Manfrotto super clamp and it's clamped to a uh, pipe uh, this, and this pipe is typically used for towel hangers. Uh, but I got the super clamp, it goes to this little spigot. This goes to a uh, um, tripod extension and a ball head. That's how I'm mounting it there. And the cool thing about this is I can now use this to rotate around the space and get an angle from this angle. So if I'm here, I can get uh, just images from this angle over here. So let's switch over to the desk tour. This is what it looks like when I'm sitting down at the desk. I have my MacBook Pro on the left, a external monitor on the right. I do have a roto light acting as my primary light here. I'm gonna eventually get a better solution. But there's the boom arm that's sitting up there. Uh, the boom mic, uh, shotgun mic, is uh, on a boom stand and a boom arm. And that acts as, uh, if I, I want everything out of frame, have a clean frame. Now, for the most part, whenever I can, I will use 
just my RE20 here. And stepping back a little bit more, I did get this pretty cool, nice vintage looking uh, chair. And I'm working on some cable management down there. Uh, there's quite a bit of cables running around everywhere. Here's the Rodecaster Pro um, that's sitting there. I am uh, getting the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro that will eventually sit here so I can switch to different sources and do live streams. But for now, uh, it's still in back order and I'm waiting for it. And so let me just crash this back and we'll switch back and play around with another recording. Um, I'm doing a multicam setup, and so let me switch to my better mic. Okay, so now I'm back using my Electro, Electro Voice RE20. Um, I'm gonna be doing uh, quite a bit of recording, training, uh, live conferencing in this space, and so I just needed to have a command center, if you will, different audio solutions on demand I like being able to just mount clamp things um, onto pipes and bars throughout the space. And so that's kind of, that's just been my go-to approach for kind of creating this work from home space. Um, now, in order to create these multi-cameras, what I'm doing is I'm recording that camera, that camera, and they are both being used at the same time. So uh, they're recording, I'm recording audio here the three uh, videos, so video one, video two, plus the audio file uh, gets synced up in Final Cut Pro, and then I do a multi-cam edit uh, to kind of create this little space. Now today I want to share a little um, gadget I got recently. This is the Muse S. It is a meditation device. Uh, it senses brain waves, heart rate, and a number of other pieces. So let me put it on first. So when I have this on, uh, what's it's doing? It has a sensor here. It has a sensor on the ears. It's sensing, uh, I believe, heart rate, brain waves, um, and I'm using it as a meditation practice. Uh, in this pandemic, with the um, racism that's happening in the country right now, there's quite a bit of uh, stress on my part, and I'm working on a meditation practice. And so this is just biofeedback. It's giving me a signal as I'm meditating on whether I am doing well or not. And I think today I tried it on and it plays um, a four sound. So the more busy your brain is, the more sound it creates. And my brain is very busy. It's really hard for me to get it quiet. And so that's something I'm going to be working on. Uh, definitely, I think I'm going to play around with this a little bit more before I do a tutorial and a walkthrough um, on some of my meditation practice. I have the Calm app on my iPhone uh, that I I've been using for a while, um, but I'm looking for something that's giving me some of that biofeedback as I'm doing this work. Hey, thanks for joining. I know uh, this channel has kind of been slow, but I'm going to try to continue to keep it going. And again, I appreciate it. We're up to 112 sub subscribers. And so if you like this and if you want to engage more in this type of content, give me a like, uh, tag a friend, share this channel. I definitely appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.